Peggy 18. All that matters on the chessboard are good moves and the actions you take to achieve this result. What I do is bide in the shadows, where I can strategically exploit the most vulnerable pawns. But this time had to be different. This time, I had to involve my hand directly. But let's get things in the right order. So I began the first phase of my plan. Requesting the evacuation of all remaining personnel. Code Blue, repeat, this is a Code Blue emergency. Please respond, anyone, please. My name is Rebecca Jordan. I'm a doctor at the Aegis Medical Facility on the North Ball Islands. We have a problem of some magnitude here. There's a situation in the building that requires... There's been a terrible mishap. I, I think we've been exposed to some kind of gas, a corrosive agent that latches onto the lungs, warping people. Peace are uh, a lot better with you on the battlefield. But that's if, you know, Gomer Pyle doesn't put us down first. Just shut the fuck up, Leaf. Goddamn motor mouth. Don't let him get to you, kid. That shepherd squawks that anyone with a bigger stick, which is pretty much everyone. Never should have pulled his ass out that fire back in the room in 94. Thanks, Hayden. Understood, Major. Damn it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should just let the past go. Romero Fort Gulf, this is HQ. We hold you on gadget and show you entering the airspace above the island. You should be within visual range of Aegis at any moment. Over. HQ, this is Sandman Actual. In descent for November Foxtrot, India. Standing by for a mission goal. Sandman Actual, this is HQ. You are a mission goal.
Hey, you! Drop your gun and let me see your hands! Right now! Sorry. I thought you were one of those dead, melted thingies that killed the others. Yeah, well, I ain't. And you almost got shot in the head, whoever you are. You know, I'm, I'm no threat to you. My name's John. It's John Fay. I work for Aegis in the Information Science Department. Well, mostly in the server room. I've been hiding down there for hours. Since all hell broke loose. All communications are down. And I didn't think anyone would risk their lives to actually save us. What the hell happened to this place? I'm not sure exactly. But I don't think it was accidental. How do you mean? Well, I can access anything via the server. The security system, surveillance, cameras, and naturally, the personnel, files of all the Aegis employees. I've been trying to reconstruct exactly what went wrong. And actually, you'd be amazed at what somebody can achieve down here in just a few hours. Anyway, I think it's safe to say that one of our own stole some research and covered the whole up as an accident. Obscuring all evidence of their damnable theft. Huh. You don't say. I'm gonna need that fancy ID card of yours to access the server. Well, why? Why do you want to access the server? I thought you were actually here to rescue us. Technically, those were your words, not mine. Sorry, bud. Orders are orders. But what, what, what about the others? All the survivors in the building? You're not gonna let us die here. Nah, no, you're right. I guess I can. I mean, especially you. Oh, what the heck. I'll lend a hand. back to base. My pawn moved admirably through the AG's lab. And with just a few bad moves, the game proceeded ahead. Unfortunately, I underestimated the fierce loyalties of those no-good Exocore players. It was the most incredible fight I ever saw. He just grabbed the guy, bit his ear off, and spit it on the map. How often does that happen? During a boxing match? Never. HQ here. We read your signal on beacon. You're less than 30 minutes from base. Acknowledge. This is Sandman Actual. Roger your last HQ. Commencing final approach procedures to base. Any sign of the others? Over. Negative, Sandman Actual. Epsilon has gone out with their MIA. A special unit is being deployed to secure the site and evacuate survivors as soon as possible. Over and out. I think we should have waited after all. Not a chance. There's no way the carriers would have withstood that storm for a moment longer. Besides, I didn't come all this way to fail. <laughs> fail? Uh, right, right, right. You know, for a second there, I forgot how you do things, Major. You sit there. All ladylike to keep that immaculate uniform for spick and span while real soldiers go into battle. Ah, too bad it has to be at the expense of real men with bona fide families. <laughs> yeah. Fucking crimson skulls, man. You're all the fucking same. <laughs> I, I can see why you chose this boy to be your sidekick. You've both got a lot in common. For starters, just think about it. You're both cowardly little bitches that leave comrades to die. <laughs> what did you just say to me? You better watch your fucking mouth. Knock it off, you two. Epsilon or no Epsilon, our orders stand. He's right. You squawk way too much. Listen carefully, David. Because I won't repeat this again. I know what it's like to lose somebody and not be able to do a goddamn thing about it. But you can't go on blaming yourself. You made a judgment call on that plane. Otherwise, you'd both be dead. 
And I think he would have done the same in your position. Are we clear? If you say so, Major. It's just... Every time I close my eyes, I can still see him. He's burning up and screaming for me to somehow help him. And I can't. I know, but sometimes you just gotta move forward. Let go and focus on the present moment. You cut through that storm with your fangs out. You got golden hands, kid. I'm impressed. And now that your scars are more or less healed, I'm sure you'll go back to flying solo any day now. You looking to lose the payload now that we're so close to base? God damn it. Raven, take the controls. I'm gonna go check and make sure supports are secure. That storm really pushed them to the limit. Yes, sir. Fuck's sakes, kid. Your file says you're the real deal. Took an SR-91 from the Aurora program to hypersonic Mach 6. That's a hell of a lot more than most pilots can say. By all rights, you should be able to fly this toy with your eyes closed. You know, I pushed for you to join the Skulls, even after what happened at Dryden. Only place I want to see you falling is on the mat after our bouts. Okay, now focus and keep this bird up in the sky. You got it, Major. I won't let you down. This is Sam Walker. I'm out at the game tower at Hunter's Pass. Come in, over. Keenside Police, Kenneth speaking. Go ahead, Sam. Oh, hey, Ken. I don't want to rain on your parade, but some chopper nearly took my head off not five minutes ago. Do you know anything about that? Over. Right. Sorry, Sam. Those big shots called in last night to schedule transport passing through the area. Night exercise or something. In and out. Real hush-hush. You should be safe to go back up there. Just... I read you, Ken. Although next time, uh, you know, I'd be mighty grateful for any notice. Over and out. <sighs> hey, baby, it's me. Generator. Oh, yeah. I remember to turn off the lights in the house. Otherwise, you'll have to refuel again before daybreak. I know. Um, Sam, I'm not sure if I'll ever get used to living out in these woods. It's just so isolated. So, why'd you call, baby? Need help booking some rascally raccoons? <laughs> Funny. You know, maybe. I'm still on duty. Listen, I was just on the radio with Ken, so I thought I'd chicken in on you. And... I feel bad about not being able to take you to the Cherry Blossom Feast. I know how much it means to you. It's just... Well, you know how the night shift works. I know all too well. Ken, did something happen? No, no. no nothing to worry about. I just had a near miss in the tower involving some bozo in a helicopter. And... H hold on a second. Shit! I, I can't find my meds! Uh, I must have dropped him when that chopper went past. Uh, God only knows where they ended up. That's not good, Sam. You know you need those for... Don't... Don't start that again. I'm fine. I can manage it. I've been living with... with this for a long time now. Sam, you know what happened the last time you didn't take them? <sighs> How could I forget? With you constantly reminding me. Listen, I, I, I gotta go, baby, okay? Don't worry about a thing. 
It's just a few more hours. Go to bed and get some rest. I'll be home in the morning. I love you. I, I can manage it. I can manage it. Just like last time. Uh, Major! Uh, what's going on here? Uh, David! Help me, please! Uh, Don't move, Leave! Put the uh, weapon down! No fucking way! Talk to me, sir! Uh, what the hell is going on? Uh, Alex! He broke a vial in my face! Uh, Enough chatter! Uh, Step away from him, uh, right now! God damn you, Lee! Well, well. <laughs> Who would have thought? Tonight's the night that you finally fail a mission. Lo and behold, the great Sandman <laughs> isn't as great after all, is he? <laughs> and who would have thought? Tonight's also the night when you die. You know, for what it's worth, I can honestly say, I had the real displeasure of serving under you, Major. Oh, and don't worry. I'll take care of these. Farewell. What? Son of a bitch! Oh, oh shit, didn't see that coming. Ugh. HQ, HQ, Agent Liev here. <laughs> do you, do you receive me? Over. Feels like it's gonna explode. Uh, uh, why didn't the guy in rotation wake me? Uh, uh. Hey, Sam Walker here. I'm at the tower at the Hunter's Pass. Anybody out there? Over. Thing is, my replacement hasn't arrived yet. Anyone know what happened to Cooper? USFS Control. Anyone read me? Anybody? God damn it! <sighs> hey baby, it's me again. Sorry, uh, I must have passed out. Hell of a nightmare, too. Baby, I, I don't think I'm doing too well without my pills. It's only been a few hours, and I'm already starting to feel... Sam, just come home right away. What? Is something wrong? You might say that. We need to talk. Come home. Please. Talk about what? Sweetie? Damn! It only took five minutes and one incompetent play to twist my perfect game into an imperfect mess. Even so, Kay would have been proud of the fate we thrust upon keen sight. But I still had work to do and players to silence. Now was my turn to make a move.
HQ HQ. <coughs> Do you receive me? Over. Delta 4RG0 pilots have betrayed the company. Attempt to steal samples recovered from Aegis during the flight. Following this conduct, I had to kill Major Sandman. While the second pilot Raven is to be considered mid-session. <laughs> Agent Crane has been mortally wounded. You will not get away with this. I have the research data and the last remaining Pollux sample with me. Immediate extraction requested. Over. Request accepted. Status mission updated. The order is to reach the rendezvous point at Sacred Heart Hospital. Scheduled extraction for 10.30 p.m. Zulu. Maximum priority for the delivery of research data. Secondary priority for the recovery of... Damn. They cut me out. It does not matter. I know where you're going, Agent. This isn't real. This isn't happening. <sighs> Baby, you just... You just stay right here. I'll come back for you, I promise. I just gotta find the fucker who did this to you. I'll find him myself. Hey, you there! Supposed to be crippled for life. <sighs> what the? Why is everybody acting like that? Have they all lost their damn minds? I need to get back to the city to. here. I'm coming for you, you son of a bitch. You'll regret it when I find your sorry ass. 